Day two of NFL free agency almost in the book. So, so far we've seen the Broncos go out and sign Randy Gregory, DJ Jones, and bring back Josie Jewell. So of those three names, kind of the big three names so far, who has been your favorite signing? And maybe not just the favorite player, but kind of value too, right? This player for only this much money, great value, great contract. Let me know. Comment who your favorite signing has been between Gregory, Jones, or Jewell down in the comment section while this intro video rolls. Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown. Coming up on tonight's show, we're going to look at a free agency tracker video, seeing what the Broncos have done so far. Kind of refresh our memory a little bit. Like, oh yeah, that was uh, yesterday's news in the NFL. We've got so many signings going on. I forget every now and then who has been signed. So, so far Denver has made three big signings. First one being Randy Gregory, the biggest of them all in just terms of contract value, right? Hopefully this signing works out well. After my initial video about Gregory, I've had more time to think about it and have more time to look on Twitter and get some other opinions on the matter. And I've kind of warmed up to the idea of Gregory, who signed, by the way, a five-year, $70 million contract with only $28 million in guarantees, which means the Broncos likely have an easy out after two seasons if it doesn't work out well. But the facts are, and I don't want to drag Gregory's name through the mud here because I want him to move on from his past because I'm sure he would too. He's had some issues with substance abuse and hopefully with the new direction the NFL is going and not being super hyper focused on marijuana and weed and pot. I sound like an 80 year old man saying that but hopefully they're not so you know now they're not so focused on that. Gregory hasn't had an issue with in the last two years. We can kind of move on from those uh, bad days in his early career of you know not being able to stay on the field because of suspensions. Gregory last season played 12 games for the Cowboys and had six sacks. So I think the hope is if you had Gregory for a full season, you get double-digit sack numbers. And I know that a lot of us, and myself included, are a little upset that the Broncos did not sign Von Miller or Chandler Jones, but Peyton clearly looked at Gregory, Jones, and Chandler and said these are the top three guys. Gregory is the cheapest. He's also the youngest. I like that. I like getting cheap and young, but he's not even that cheap and he's not a bad player. So one more time, I want you to grade the signing. Maybe you're like me and you've changed a little bit on it. I was a little B- minus originally. I'll go up to B+. plus Because if you don't have Gregory getting suspended for a full season, because guess what? Something's legal in Colorado that's not in Texas. And they're not just, you know, like it used to be in 2015 where they're testing players every other day. Now they really don't care that much about pot. So grade the signing for me. I kind of like it. I'll go B plus, right? Because you got a younger and cheaper Randy Gregory than the other players, right? Than Von Miller or Chandler Jones. So I like the idea of Randy Gregory being younger, being cheaper than those players, not costing as much as a Von Miller may have, although that would have been great to bring Von home. He was certainly hinting at it, but not a bad move altogether to get someone like that. All right, let's get on to the next player here. That would be Josie Jewell. Excited about Jewell coming back. I was kind of pulling for A.J. Johnson. 87% because we went to the same college, Tennessee. So it's always fun, like I've said before, to have your college and your pro team have a little bit of a linkling, uh, you know, a connection. But Jewel signed a two-year, $11.5 million contract. And if we don't remember, I'll remind you, he did miss pretty much the entire 2021 season. Remember he tore his pec on that special teams play in the Jags game in week two. And it's kind of like, oh, God, Jewel got earned on special teams. Like, what a waste of a play that was. But I think he's going to be the starter alongside Baron Browning out of Ohio State last year. So that's going to be a, a good but cheap du- duo, right? You, you, I don't think a Bobby Wagner signing is going to come now, but I, I'm okay with especially considering the direction the Broncos' defense is that doesn't require your old stereotypical Mike linebacker in the middle. It's going to be a brute run-stopping linebacker. Jewel is very athletic, and so is Browning, and they can help out in pass protection. They're not the best pass rushers out there, but guess what? You just paid $70 million to Randy Gregory to do that for you. All right, before we get to the rest of the video, I want you all to go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. I want to reach 6,500 subscribers after this video. We're about 90 away. It's a lofty goal, but help me out. Hit that big red button and subscribe if you're looking for a place for free Broncos, free agency coverage. This is for this is the channel for you, so go ahead, hit that big red button, and subscribe. All right, next person up is DJ Jones. I like this move a lot. 
Uh, I thought about it more, and the more I think about it, the more I like it. Comes over from San Francisco, and he's going to be a, a run stopper in the middle. We'll talk about him more in detail in just a second. But I was on Fanatics today. My boss said, hey, look at Fanatics. See if there's anything good out there. And I saw that you can make a custom T-shirt jersey. Or, what, Jeff, what's it called? Shirzy? Yeah, Shirzy. Get a thumbs up. And then I thought, what if you just put Russell Wilson number three in there, and you don't have to pay for a Wilson jersey because it's on sale $10 off. Well, they thought that through. You can't do that. But you can get any player on their team except for Russell Wilson that hasn't signed yet. Or you can put your own last name. Or you can get creative like me. I'm doing Russ cooking and putting the number three down there. And that's going to be the kind of thing that you see tailgating and at the game. And people are like, I like that shit. Like, where'd you get it? Right? And they're like, I made it. Right? I, I, I am Gucci. That, that's what it is. All right. DJ Jones, though. Let's talk about him more because no one likes my fashion taste. DJ Jones signed a three-year. $30 million contract with $20 million in guarantees. So a lot of investment in this guy, and I don't see why not. He started all 17 games this past season for San Francisco, so you like to see the durability. And the biggest sign that your team made a good signing, if the other fan base is upset that they lost that player. The Niners fan base, Niner, what was it, um, Niner, uh, Niner Empire, Niner Gang, they are upset with Jones leaving. That's the best sign. You go on the other team's Twitter, and you're like, let's see how they act, react to this news. And if they don't like it, you know your team did something right. Because I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest, it's not like I spend my time studying other teams' interior defensive linemen. But I do know Jones' name because he was pretty good last season. And if you look at the PFF grades, Pro Football Focus does a, a good job of grading those interior guys on the offensive line and defensive line. He was one of the best defensive linemen. We did a video on this last night from the crib, and you saw that he ranks 18th out of 110 in 2021. Overall, 73, which in PFF world, that's very good. Now don't look at that like a C- minus, like in school. No, no, they, they, it's not Madden. They don't hand out 80s or 90s. That is a very good grade. He does a good job with the run game, and he can also help out in the pass game as well. He's had two sacks, uh, five sacks in his last three seasons, so he's getting better there. All right, who else do you want the Broncos to sign, though? One more time for you guys to weigh in on the show. Not many big names left uh, that are linked to the Broncos. I don't see them having the budget to really go out and do it, but it doesn't mean we can't have fun with it. I think GM George Payton is out of fireworks. The, the, the Randy Gregory, that was the big one, right? And we had our fun last week. We got Russell Wilson, so I'm not going to be too bummed out about it. But I don't see a Chandler Jones coming over. Teron Armstead or Trent Brown, kind of the tackles I've been looking at to fill that right tackle spot, probably priced yourself out after getting Randy Gregory. So maybe they go cheap and draft someone for that right tackle position, but they've already filled an edge spot, filled the linebacker spot, and then they added on to the interior defensive line, which is a tackle away. All right, that's going to do it for us on today's show. Make sure you subscribe if you've gone this far in the video and you're not hitting that big red button. I don't know what else I can do. So please subscribe. Uh, help me keep my boss happy with me, and that way I don't have to you know, be on lunch duty every day. Hit that big red button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later with the latest Broncos news and rumors.